Well, the thunderstorms with heavy rain continue. You can probably hear the rain falling here on the studio on North Market in Shreveport. So let's give you a tour of the thunderstorms that we have right now. You can see most of southwest Arkansas looking at the light rain. Uh, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning mainly for Miller County for this storm, but it has weakened as it makes its way towards the east. That process probably will continue. You can see stronger storms uh, right now, which are not severe, moving through Shreveport. We do have that flash flood warning in effect. You just saw earlier the flooding which was ongoing from the earlier rains. It's only going to be aggravated by this very heavy rain which is moving through the metro area right now. Fortunately, no issues with hail or wind, but uh, again, uh, lots of heavy rain with that particular thunderstorm. Uh, the uh, thunderstorm warning that we had for Bienville Parish uh, has expired. That storm is uh, moving off towards the east as this too has uh, weakened. Most of the storms actually have seen a bit of a weakening trend here uh, during the past half hour to an hour or so, and that includes that one storm, which probably had a history of producing wind gusts upwards of 80 miles per hour. In fact, let me zoom this out, switch over to the velocity scan of this, and you'll see how uh, how intense uh, the uh, the wind was with this, as this was uh, uh, south and west of uh, Nacogdoches, especially here in the past hour. Uh, notice the uh, uh, darker blues here back in this area. Uh, that was where we had wind gusts of 70 to 80 miles per hour. Notice those have gone away. Uh, this line of storms is weakened. The severe thunderstorm warning has expired, and it still looks possible that we could be looking at some gusts uh, with uh, this activity that uh, uh, will be in the range of more than 50 miles per hour. Definitely still a possibility. I'll click on some of these areas here, and you can see uh, the wind gusts that the radar is seeing. Now, keep in mind, this is only seeing the part of the wind that's moving towards the radar in Shreveport. Still, still some very gusty winds, and this uh, cluster of storms does have a history when it was stronger, producing quite a few power outages uh, back to the south and west as it was approaching and entering uh, the Arklatex here uh, this evening. Now, as far as what we've seen today, let's go back to the uh, uh, radar here and uh, show you that uh, we have seen the uh, storms uh, that were uh, again stronger and hail was uh, really the bigger issue with these storms. So I'm going to switch this back over uh, to the uh, traditional radar and call up the uh, storm reports that have come in. You can see uh, these blue areas here. Those are all hail reports. Notice not a whole lot of these wind markers as far as reports. So the main issue that we've had for the most part has been hail. It does look like uh, the the threat of seeing the big hail like we've had earlier has uh, decreased. So where do we go from here? Let's take a look at the latest run of the AAR. You can see the current thunderstorm activity moving out here in the next couple of hours. Uh, last few runs of this model have been hinting towards more storms late tonight, trying to develop over the extreme northern sections of the area. That activity could pose a severe weather risk and then make its way south and east across the uh, northeastern sections of the region. The AAAR also hinting at some more storms developing in central Texas, which could impact uh, the rest of the Arklatex during the afternoon. Again, severe weather is on the table for tomorrow. Here's a look at the AAAR and its depiction of uh, additional rain on top of what we've already had. We've already had anywhere from two to uh, four inches in spots, and you can see that another two to four inches is possible, especially over the northeast half of the area. And again, this only continues as we go into the middle part of the afternoon. There's more storms out here, which could aggravate this even more as we go through late tomorrow afternoon. As far as severe weather, this is the latest outlook from the Storm Prediction Center based on some of the newest model data. We could see this yellow area expanded a little bit further to the south. So again, severe weather is possible again tomorrow. So tonight, uh, looking at thunderstorms continuing, although we'll see those storms that we have now eventually move out of the area. We'll be watching the northern part of the area very late tonight with temperatures tonight falling into the 60s and lower 70s. Tomorrow, expect to see more scattered thunderstorms. Again, a few could be strong to severe. Wind and hail probably going to be the major concerns again. 90 in Shreveport tomorrow, 87 in Texarkana, 87 degrees also for the daytime high in Marshall. Your 10 day forecast shows drier and hotter conditions for Friday and the Memorial Day weekend when we will see highs in the middle 90s. The humidity returns, lows in the middle 70s. Frontal system comes through Monday night. That's when we will see our next best chance of rain will cool off a little bit next week with more rain possible late in the week as daytime highs begin to heat back up.